This is auctionbikebuild.com. Welcome back to auctionbikebuild.com, where our goal is to build a custom motorcycle on a shoestring budget. Now that all the paint has been removed from the frame, it is time to mold it. What molding is, is plastic body filler that they use in auto bodies to fix dents and other minor imperfections in cars. We're going to use it to remove every weld mark and make this frame as smooth as possible. This is the webbing that Bob welded in to hold the upper tank mount and to give the frame some nice support. So what we want to do is mix up a nice coat of Bondo and put on a fairly heavy coat and try to bring this web up to the depth of the frame to make it look like it's one solid piece. This is a bit of the tricky area here because it is round stock welded into round stock and we want to give it a very finished appearance. We don't want the seams to show and we want it to look nice and smooth. So you have to apply the Bondo with your finger and put on a pretty good coat because it doesn't matter. You're going to sand it down until it's smooth, but you don't want to have to keep going over it numerous times. So, you know, put a pair of gloves on and get your fingers to work. This area under the neck is a little tricky also. Once again, you have to use your fingers to apply the Bondo. You want to get a nice smooth coat in there to make this look as perfect as possible. On all soft tails, Harley have these dimples on the rear. They're probably structural and to reduce weight, but I think they're very unsightly. They make these chrome inserts you pop in, but once again, that's just covering an ugly problem with ugly chrome. So we are going to remove them here at auctionbikebuild.com. So mix up a nice coat of Bondo and just fill them in. Make it nice and smooth. This is one of the easier parts to do because it's really just a hole and it's got nice raised edges so you just fill it and sand it smooth and uh, not a lot of work. Give your bike a much more clean and professional look. After laying on a nice heavy coat of Bondo around the neck, uh, power tools are great. If you have air tools like I have, you can really get a nice sanding job done very quickly. and. Uh, if not, electric tools work just as good. You get an electric grinder. If not, it's time to muscle up. But you really want to take down as much as possible with the uh, power tools because you're going to have to do a second and third coat. So build up a nice heavy coat, get out the power tools, do some nice sanding, wear a mask. This dust is very toxic to you. And put on some eye protection and go to town. You can see now that the neck is, is fairly smooth. We did a pretty nice job on it. So what we want to do now is, is a, a different type of Bondo. It's more of a thin coat. So this fills in the scratches. It doesn't put it as heavy a coat. And it's another color, so you can really see uh, where to put it where you need it. So once again, put a nice at this level, put a nice smooth light coat on, and you want to make as little sanding as necessary. When sanding round stock, it's, it's a nice thing to do is just loop the sandpaper over it and go back and forth. This way it keeps the round round and it's easier on your hands.
After giving the bike a good hand sand, I like to go around with a black magic marker and mark every area that I'm not comfortable with. Now, use your hands, don't use your eyes. Rub your hands over the surface. If you feel it, you will see it. It is a much more precise way of doing it. If you look at it, it may look good, but feel it. If you feel a ridge or a bump or a groove, anything, mark it, go over it. It will show up in the paint. This is the critical part now because we want to get the last coat on and, and get this frame done and ready for paint. I thought I was done with the frame and then I looked at it head on and it really bothered me. The way the neck went in on one side and out on the other, this was due to one side having the number bar, the other side not. So I decided I'm going to make it even. So here I'm going to apply a fairly heavy coat of Bondo and probably two or three more before I even start sanding. This is a big area, it's going to take a lot of Bondo. You don't want to put it on too thick each coat, but put on a nice heavy coat, go back and forth until you've built it out bigger than you want it. So when you sand it, it'll be easier for you to get this even. see here after two or three coats we built up a nice thick area and it's almost even with the other side so at this point I like to take out the power tools once again this is a die grinder I put on a medium grade bit and I, I just start sanding just take out all the ridges get it as smooth as possible so you can finish up with the hand sanding and maybe another coat or two of the finishing bondo You can see it's shaping up nicely now, it has a much more even appearance and there will be another coat or two necessary to make this exactly where we want it. This is the final coat of Bondo and you can see now it has a much cleaner appearance than the originally did with the one side going in, the other side coming out. And if you look here now, you can see what it looks like finished. It is much easier on the eyes. So enjoy and join us next time for AuctionBikeBuild.com every Monday and Friday for new episodes. They all think they're the heavy.